Good morning. Welcome to a day in the life vlog with my newborn. Um, the baby just turned seven weeks old today. So fun. Um, a lot of people say that newborns are until they're three months, but some people say it's only until they're one month. So <clears throat> is she a newborn? Depends on what you think. Right now she's a little tired. So <sighs> hold on. We've got a sleeping baby now. Oh. Okay, we still got a sleeping baby now. I'm gonna give you a recap of what has happened so far this morning that I did not film. So we woke up around 8 a.m., changed her diaper, and then she ate. And then she had a little bit of tummy time. And then she played with some of her Love Every black and white high contrast cards. Um, which I have a video of if you want to see that and then she was tired. She'd been awake about An hour hour and a half. So she'll probably sleep like this for one or two hours until she wants to eat again and um, Yeah, this is what I look like. This is for real, but what I always look like pretty pretty rough <laughs> I've been wearing this outfit for two days going on three now. Um, but my goals for today, because I give myself goals for the day, but usually I don't make them too extreme. Um, but my goals for the day are to take a shower, which I have never done before unless Gray is home. But I'm going to try to do that before he gets home because I want to shower so badly. I put our laundry in last night and it's dry now. So my goal is to fold the laundry and put it away. My other goal is to wash the sheets on this bed and then make the bed. And if anything else gets done, it'll just be a bonus. This is the baby, by the way. Okay, she's awake and she's eating. Don't know if you can hear her. She's a really, really loud eater. For those of you wondering how I'm doing breastfeeding, um, it's going pretty well, but I can only use the right side. The left side, I stopped using after like the fifth day after she was born. I think when it didn't matter, like before my milk came in and like, it was just colost colostrum and stuff. Um, she was sucking on the left side and she was getting a little bit out. But then once, you know, all the milk started coming in on the right side, um, she noticed that there wasn't as much coming in on the left side. And she didn't like that. So she would scream whenever I put her on the left side. And <laughs> she would like side eye and look over at the right side being like, hey, I want the right side. I'm in this group on Facebook called Babies After Breast Cancer, and I don't think I found anyone that breastfed from their radiated side. They all quit after a few days of trying, um, or they like pumped and only got like less than an ounce. I tried pumping on the left side too because I noticed that in my bra, it would be a little bit wet sometimes, and apparently just like two little drops would come out basically anytime I would breastfeed um, because I tried pumping and that's the most I got was two drops like it wasn't even enough for the pump to suck it down into the bottle but uh, the right side is making up for it she's getting enough she's gaining weight she's doing good okay she's done eating um, she kind of fell asleep like immediately so she's just like sleeping here on my legs she'll probably wake up Hi. Hi. are you awake <laughs> Rub the eyes. Okay, so she just woke up and I heard her fill her diaper. So we're gonna do a diaper change and an outfit change. Little bunny feet. Okay, it's about 11.45 and usually um, after this feeding, which she just had, we go into her nursery. So if you're wondering how we play with our one and a half month old, we basically are always using these Love Every toys. Um, this is one of the ones from the zero to three month kit. It's a little rattle that she can hold and this ball. We started playing with this rattle really early on when she was like two weeks old and she would track it with her eyes. And that was like one of the first things that she would track with her eyes. Babies like high contrast things. And so Love Every sends you a lot of like high contrast stuff for the zero to three month age group. Now, the thing that's great about Love Every is that they will send you a box um, if you sign up for the subscription service every two months or so um, based on the child's age 
and they give you toys that are developmentally appropriate and can help them in what they're supposed to be achieving at that time in their lives. They'll send you a guide with your kit, so it'll give you ways to play with your kid and developmental info about that stage in their life, and you can play with your kid in an appropriate way for their age, if that makes sense. It's been, been very helpful for me because I had no idea how to play with a newborn. So if you're interested in Love Every Play Kits, check my link in the description. And thank you to Love Every for sponsoring this part of the video. These are the mittens that come in the Looker Play Kit for zero to three months. And it's just supposed to help them um, recognize that their hands exist because they're high contrast. She sometimes gets confused by these, so it's a little fun watching her play with them because she doesn't really understand her hands yet. Um, but she can see those and she always wonders why it like hits her in the face sometimes I think um, because like obviously she doesn't know about her hands and sometimes she smacks herself in the face with her own hands um, but her favorite thing to do is what she's doing right now is look at high contrast images um, some of these high contrast images come in the look or play kit and some of them come with this play gym too um, so we just put them up here on the play gym and then she sits on her back down here and she'll just stare at those for a very long time. And while she does that, she always likes to kick this ball <laughs> that hangs on the play gym. So she's starting to get a little bit tired, just zoning out and like getting slightly fussy um, at the toys. So this is our perfect time for the afternoon swing nap. We basically do this every day. She plays out there and then she, when she gets tired i put her down in her swing so it rocks back and forth it plays music and those things turn so the swing nap is basically the only way i can get anything done all day um she'll she usually sleeps in that for about two hours and i check on her like every 15 minutes or so because technically you're not allowed to let your kid sleep in a swing like the only way that they're allowed to sleep is on their back so i check on her all the time and then the music actually turns off after like 15 minutes or so, so I usually go and turn the music back on because it'll like block out the sound of other things that I'm doing around the house. It's usually the only time I can find time to eat something. Um, so today I'm hoping to take a shower during it, which like I'm a little bit scared to because then I'm like not gonna be able to hear her if she cries. But she every day sleeps in this swing and she never has a problem so I feel like it'll be okay. But of course, today's gonna be the day, right? Today's gonna be the day that it's not okay and she wakes up. I'm eating chocolate for lunch right now. It's great. Um, I'll probably find something better if I get everything else done. Oh, also, I can see the downstairs from upstairs. So I can see her in the swing from upstairs, which is great because then I can do things upstairs and downstairs. I'm able to see her. She's actually not asleep yet, but it calms her down until she falls asleep. Okay, I just went down and checked on her. She's asleep, I filled up my water. And so I think it's shower time. Okay, I finished my shower, I literally just got out, but paranoid, so I'm going down to check on her. I can literally hear her breathing from here. Like I said, that music turns off after a certain amount of time, so clearly it hasn't been that much time. So I'm actually gonna try to like, get ready for the day which does not happen every day like I do put on deodorant and contacts and brush my teeth at some point during the day but it's usually not all at the same time and I don't always put on new clothes every day like I said I was wearing those for two days let's go So I have this silver nursing cup thing. I actually have two of them obviously they come in a two pack but I only ever use one because nothing's going on with my left side so whenever I take a shower, I always wash these because uh, they get like milk in it. And like if I put cream on my nipples after breastfeeding, then like it gets that in it sometimes. So I always like to wash them. And then I'm right now I'm wearing the other one. So it's nice to have two when you only need one. Basically the internet swears by these because like the silver is supposed to like have healing properties. So it's supposed to like heal your cracked nipples and stuff. It keeps it from rubbing against my bra and that's very helpful so I'll put a link to these in my description because they're really nice. I finally got myself an aluminum free deodorant. I probably should have done it a really long time ago but I first did it while I was pregnant. I have breast cancer why wasn't I more cautious of that? 
I didn't really care because do you know how many things cause cancer? So many things. You can ask anybody and they're like, this causes cancer, this causes cancer. So like, do we really know if my deodorant gave me breast cancer? No, we don't. We're never going to know. If you thought I was going to dry my hair with a hairdryer, you thought wrong. <clears throat> Why would I waste my time doing that? Okay, my phone just ran out of storage, so I guess you didn't see the end of that, but I put the sheets in the washing machine and I started it. Then I got myself a granola bar, checked on the baby. She's still alive. If you're wondering why I don't put her down in her crib or her bassinet for naps, it's because, well, I do sometimes if I want to work on it with her, but basically she doesn't sleep in that. Um, so sometimes I'll get 15 minutes out of her if I do that. But then I'm like constantly going back in and checking on her and then I have to like quiet her back down and get her to sleep again, which is something that I do sometimes to work on with work on it to see if maybe she'll like start to sleep in that. But not like she's going to remember it at this age. So like, is it really doing anything for me to do that? Probably not. But um, right now I'm trying to get things done. So that's why I put her in the swing because I know I can reliably put her in the swing and it'll keep her asleep for two hours. Basically it's like, those are my two hours to do things. And I get whatever I can done in those two hours. And like, that's it for the day basically. Like I don't usually get much else done <laughs> because I don't want to put her in the swing constantly, like for every nap, because I don't want her to like rely on the swing and to have to have the swing to fall asleep because that would be super annoying. So if you remember my little to-do list, we had shower, which I did successfully. And now we're going to fold the laundry. And then I'll have two things done. The sheets are gonna take a while, obviously, because they have to wash and dry. This is just our dresser. It's not a changing table, so that's why it doesn't look secure or anything. Um, we just have the changing pad on it because she sleeps in our room right now. And when she sleeps in the nursery, we'll move the changing pad obviously into the nursery, but it would just be annoying to have to like wake up and go into the nursery and when we could just do it right there in our dresser. And then this right here is just our little diaper caddy. We have diapers in here. You usually fill it all the way up, but we use a lot, obviously, uh, wipes. And then here is where I put like her pajama onesies. We only have one more. <laughs> um, so I need to do her laundry. And then we have some baby lotion. We have a hairbrush, thermometer. Um, we have her mittens over here for her hands. So she doesn't scratch herself. But now we always just uh, put her in a onesie that has like the hand covers. And the music stopped, which means it's time for me to go do a check on the baby. It looks like the blanket's covering her face, but it isn't. It's just the angle, I promise. Okay, I just finished doing all the folding of the laundry. I did a little bit more tidying of some rooms, like the bedroom and the nursery that I also didn't film. It's been about an hour and a half since I put her in the swing, and it's been about 2 hours and 45 minutes since she ate so what i'm gonna work on now is some thank you cards because we had some people buy some things off of our baby registry before the baby was born and i haven't finished all of the thank you notes i kind of was doing them like as i got the presents but like the people who bought like the latest presents haven't gotten their thank you notes yet and by latest i mean like still before the baby was born so it's still been a while it's been seven weeks <laughs> i don't know if you can see this but we've got a moose right there you see him yeah you can totally see him move again moose so they know i'm not lying i looked out and i was like oh like there's a car <laughs> like it was so big it was behind the trees so i couldn't tell that it was a moose until it walked out but oh, there he goes last night there was one right up here like on the other side of our fence so they like to hang out in our backyard a lot. 
one note down. Okay, I finished two thank you notes and it's been two hours since she's been in the swing. So I'm going to wake her up. Like really, I'm just gonna like turn off the swing and let her wake up on her own because she's been making noises. So I know she needs to wake up. Okay, turned off the swing. I forgot the sheets finished in the washing machine. So I'm gonna move them to the dryer because I might not get a chance. Okay, in the dryer. She still hasn't gotten up. But look, it's snowing outside. Can you see the snowflakes? They're just, they're falling really lightly. Are you getting up now? Okay, so it's been three hours and 45 minutes since the last time she ate. And I decided to get her up here and feed her because she can go four hours, um, like it's allowed, but I didn't want her to sleep super long in the swing. Okay, so we've just been chilling out here in the rig, the little boppy pillow, breastfeeding pillow, and uh, just been playing with her, smiling at her. She smiled back. She's just been chilling here for a bit, and I actually preheated the oven because I have some like pre-made cookies that I want to make, and I'm going to change her diaper right now again because I don't know if I said, but I changed it right before we, I fed her. And then I'm gonna go put those cookies in the oven. And I figured she could just hang out here with Q. <laughs> they're, they're best buds for real. Q like thinks it's her job to tell me when she's crying. Um, so whenever she starts crying, Q will come and find me. Like I can't already hear her crying and like I'm on my way to her already. Um, usually it's when I'm in the bathroom. These cookies right here, these pre-made ones, you know, that you just like rip apart. I don't wanna see these ones <laughs> that took me forever to open okay cookies and the baby's crying so i gotta go up real fast okay cookies are in the oven <laughs> see i was only gone for like two minutes yeah what's up what's up did you feel abandoned yeah a little bit abandoned i'm back i'm back you're instantly better now okay okay I went and got the cookies out of the oven, but I went really, really fast, just in case she got upset. I'm holding her. She's got a little pacifier. She's getting a little bit sleepy, and I'm gonna eat some cookies. Here's what they look like. They're dangerously undercooked, because that's the best way to have them. This is not how it is every day. A lot of days, I'm healthier than this. Some days, I'm not. Some days, I don't eat anything. <laughs> but I do get at least one good meal a day for dinner when Gray cooks. Okay, so she's getting tired, so she's probably gonna fall asleep right now. That's probably gonna be all we have for the vlog today. Um, did I put the sheets on the bed? No. They are in the washing machine. No, they're in the dryer. They finished drying. But I'm not gonna put them on now because we're probably, we're probably gonna take a little nap on the bed. She will be on top of me. So I'll probably put the sheets on the bed. Um, when Gray gets home and I can give her to Gray. She's asleep. This child only can fall asleep when she's on top of somebody. Or in her swing, apparently, which is great because she used to not even sleep in her swing. Anyway, it's 4.05 p.m. So that was basically uh, my day in the life with a newborn. That's what I do every day. Eight to, eight to four, I guess. She usually wakes up right around when Gray gets home. I'm probably not gonna really look at comments much or I might even disable them on this video because I'm not ready for all the unsolicited advice I'm about to get on this video. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, that's all, bye.